Hi, my name is Heath Johnson, and I'm a Senior Technical Marketing Architect here at VMware. And in this Lightboard video, I'm going to talk about how to go from vSphere to Cloud Foundation. This, uh, this is a, kind of a question that comes up a lot for our customers, wondering how they turn their existing infrastructure and their existing vSphere environment into Cloud Foundation. Now, you might be wondering, why would they want to do that, right? So, one of the key components of the Ember Cloud Foundation that's built in is this really cool component called the SCDC Manager. Now, this is a virtual machine that has all the automation and architecture built into it for VMware Cloud Foundation. So when we think about architecture and deployment and automation, what does that do for you, right? So this turns your existing vSphere environment, when you go to Cloud Foundation, it turns you into a public cloud experience inside your private data center. And what does that mean, right? So when you go to deploy infrastructure at a public cloud provider, um, it does it with automation, and you know exactly what you're going to get. You get, you, you know, when you add more hosts, you know exactly how it's going to come out. When you add another cluster, you know exactly what you're going to get. And it's this automation of the VMware Cloud Foundation SDC Manager that drives consistency in the environment. And so that's one of the major benefits of VMware Cloud Foundation is consistent architecture and consistent infrastructure across your entire environment, across all your sites. And this is what VMware Cloud Foundation does from the very beginning with the SDC Manager. Next, built into the SDC Manager is our lifecycle component. It's our lifecycle management component. So it allows us to do all the patching and upgrading of your VMware Cloud Foundation. Your full uh, infrastructure stack is patched and upgraded from the SCC manager. So that's the ESXi host, the vCenter server, vSAN, the NSX management plane, all is patched and managed through the SCC manager, leveraging automation. And again, doing patching, driving consistency, giving you that public cloud-like experience inside your private data center and turning you into a full cl uh, cloud inside your private data center. Another component that's built into the SCC manager that our customers love is password management. So we have um, built into the SCC manager as well. You can do full password management of your infrastructure stack. So the ESXi root uh, account or the SCC manager or, or the uh, vCenter server. If you've got a vSphere administrator that leaves the organization or for security reasons, you need to rotate or change all the passwords of your infrastructure components. This is built in to VMware Cloud Foundation um, and lets you use the user interface all from the UI of the SDDC manager, making password changes quick and easy in your environment, getting back to your normal day-to-day -day, uh, administrative jobs, right? Next, another component is uh, certificate management. This too is built in to the SCDC manager, right? Allowing you to actually manage the SSL certificates of the software defined data center, making sure that everything is secure. Now, speaking of security, VMware Cloud Foundation has full DISLIS digs, right? So if you're a government agency and you're wondering about how secure this is, we have full STIG guides to help you uh, lock down the entire environment, making sure that you're operating at the Depart Department of Defense levels for security purposes, all part of the Ember Cloud Foundation. And so this is just a high level view of just some of the things of why customers are wanting to move to the Ember Cloud Foundation as quickly as possible. So the question comes up, how do I get there, right? How do I take an existing vSphere environment and turn it into the Ember Cloud Foundation? Now, in this Lightboard, I'm just going to cover one scenario. There's a lot of it depends on what your environment look like, what kind of storage, networking, what your apps look like, and all that. This is just a high-level view, just quick overview for this Lightboard video, just to give you some idea of how to start looking at this quickly and easily, um, and maybe this works for you. Um, otherwise, let, we'll talk about more of these scenarios in future videos as well. So. To get started, when we deploy VMware Cloud Foundation, and uh, it, it, to get started, it's a greenfield deployment today, right? So we need, we're going to leverage Swing Capacity, 
and deploy a new environment of VMware Cloud Foundation and deploy four brand new hosts inside VMware Cloud Foundation. Now, when we deploy these four new hosts, we call this the management domain. Now, this management domain contains the, um, the SCDC manager. It lives in here as well. And we also get a vCenter server, and it creates its own brand new single sign-on domain as well. Now, this management domain contains all the management components of VMware Cloud Foundation, and they live in here, right? Now, at the same time, if you're a smaller customer or you're just getting started with Cloud Foundation, you can also run your business applications in here. Um, fully supported, no issues with that at all, but we generally leave this for management components for a lot of our larger customers. But uh, to do this migration, right, say you've got, uh, and this can be multiple scenarios again, right? So this can be inside the same data center, or if you're doing some data center consolidation uh, or merger and acquisition, and you want to pull things together, these can be separate faraway sites, or these can be in the same data center. You're just going from one rack to another as you start this conversion process. Either way works, right? What's important here is inside your existing vSphere environment, you've got a vCenter server, and it has a single sign-on domain as well, right? So in order to connect these two, we need a tool to help bring them together so we can move our existing um, application virtual machines. So you've got a handful of application virtual machines here inside your existing vSphere infrastructure, and you want to move them over to VMware Cloud Foundation. So how do we do that? So included with VMware Cloud Foundation is this tool I've been talking about for quite some time, and one of my favorite tools. It's called HCX. Now, we take HCX and we can install the HCX virtual machines here inside VMware Cloud Foundation. And then we'll also install them inside our existing vSphere environment. And then we're gonna link the two environments together with HCX, right? And the, the key here is each one has its own vCenter and its own single sign-on domain so that we can link them together. If I say when we uh, have two sites or even in the same data center, we can bring them together with HCX. Now, to move our application virtual machines from vSphere into Cloud Foundation, we've got some options. Now, a lot of vSphere customers, um, depends upon you again, uh, are leveraging existing VLAN-backed port groups for their application virtual machines. Now, going over to VMware Cloud Foundation, we're going to do a vMotion, leveraging HCX. It's got its own vMotion tools help us move our applications over, but we've got a choice here. So with Cloud Foundation, because we're including NSX, we can do one of two things. We can also leverage vlan back port groups inside VMware Cloud Foundation, fully supported. So if this is the same data center and you want to plot, you've got vlan back port groups plumbed down here, we can plumb those uh, vlan back, back port groups into VMware Cloud Foundation we support that as well. Or if you want to start leveraging software-defined networking and the VPC of NSX, we can actually help you with HCX convert into software-defined networking quickly and easily. And doing that, we'll actually do a layer two network extension and convert your existing VLAN-backed port groups into software-defined networks. And doing that migration quickly and easily without downtime. It's a very cool process. So a couple options there. We'll leverage the existing VLANs you already have, as long as you just plumb them into a VMware Cloud Foundation, or we can leverage software-defined networking as well. And then from there, we're gonna take our application virtual machines and just do a vMotion, right? Now, we've got several options for migration. I'll cover those in another video. Um, for migrating with HCX. So we can do vMotions and bulk migrations, lots of different scenarios. This is gonna help you move application virtual machines from your existing environment into VMware Cloud Foundation. So we're gonna simply just start draining off these four ESXOs and move those application virtual machines onto our management domain. Again, using the swing capacity to help drain some capacity off, move over to VMware Cloud Foundation very quick and easy. 
Once we've got our, these uh, hosts drained and the capacity is free, we can then wipe them and reprovision them within VMware Cloud Foundation and turn these into a virtual infrastructure workload domain. And so we'll take the four hosts that we just drained over here, install VMware Cloud Foundation on them, and now we've got capacity to begin the process again, where we can leverage HDX, do vMotion, drain existing hosts over here, and move those application virtual machines into our virtual infrastructure workload domain. And you can kind of see the process, just rinse and repeat until you get everything moved over, right? Now, this can be existing hosts. We just got to make sure that you're fully compatible with uh, the latest version of VMware Cloud Foundation and reusing hosts. Some of our customers are like, oh, if I'm going to do this process, I'm going to provision new hosts. And so this can help you with just four hosts, uh, draining some hosts off, and then creating free rack space to add new hosts and then provision them as a virtual infrastructure workload domain inside VMware Cloud Foundation and begin that migration over to VMware Cloud Foundation, giving you that consistent infrastructure and architecture. Now, another question that comes up from time to time is, all right, in my existing environment, I might have some existing storage infrastructure, whether this is fiber channel or if it's NFS, and you might have an application tied to this, right? And you want that app to be able to continue to use your third-party storage. This is fully supported. We can actually attach um, third-party storage, fiber channel, NFS, all into VMware Cloud Foundation. Management domain, virtual infrastructure workload domains, fully supported. So that way your apps can continue to use uh, the third-party storage investment you already have today. So fully supported. And this just kind of gives you a high-level overview of how you can do this today quickly and easily move towards VMware Cloud Foundation and move towards that consistent infrastructure architecture with Cloud Foundation. I've got more scenarios coming. If you want to hear more about this, give us a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to work on more Lightboard videos and help you understand what's the quickest path to VMware Cloud Foundation. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.